range of usual values. In this presentation, guys, I'll show you how to calculate the range of what's called usual values in statistics, which has been designated to be mean of a population or a sample, plus or minus uh, twice the standard deviation. So it's a pretty simple definition, uh, but it is uh, necessary that to have the mean and the standard deviation when you're asked to find the range of usual values. So you must have the mean. So I'll just say must have or must be given somehow or you must be able to find it. You need to have the mean and you don't need to have the population mean only. You can have the sample mean, so either one. So I'm gonna call this the population mean. I'm gonna call this the sample mean. So either way, you have to have one of these two given. And you also have to have the sigma, which is the population standard deviation, or S, which is the sample standard deviation. So you have to have one of these, and you have to have one of these to be able to do that. So you have to be given the mean and the standard deviation. So giving you an example, let's talk about the GPAs of a, of a college. Uh, if the average GPA is of an entire college, so therefore it's mu, which is the mean of the population, say is 2.6 and say the standard population standard deviation happens to be point zero point three four so let's say that's given let me just erase that so let's say that's given to us okay now how would i calculate the uh, range of usual values uh, and what would be called unusual gpa and what would be called the usual gpa in this situation and that's exactly what we're talking about here. So if I'm trying to find the uh, separation between what's a usual GPA and what's an unusual GPA in this particular example, all I have to do is mean plus or minus twice the standard deviation. So you basically have to do mean minus twice the standard deviation and you have to do mean plus twice the standard deviation. So this basically becomes the mean is uh, 2.6 minus twice the standard deviation. It's that simple. And then for the other side, it will be 2.6 plus twice the standard deviation. Now, if I do this, um, 2.6 minus 2 times 0.34, you can do this on, a, on Excel by literally typing what you see. And then you get the two values that will tell you the range of usual values. So 2.6 minus 2 times 0.34, so it'll give you 1.92. And if I do mean plus twice the standard deviation, I get 3.28. So basically, what this tells you is that any GPA, any GPA between 1.92 and 3.28, any GPA in here is considered the usual GPA. And if your GPA is outside this range, so if your GPA is less than 1.92 or greater than 3.28, then your GPA will be considered unusual. So this is the, so the red area is the unusual range, the, the, the blue area is the usual range. So once again, anytime you've been given the mean and the standard deviation of a population, whether it's the or mean and the standard deviation of a sample, all you do is you just do mean minus twice the standard deviation and mean plus twice the standard deviation. And this context is true in any chapter. So four chapters from now, if they ask you to find the range of usual values, it no matter what the context is, you always have to find the mean of that experiment and the standard deviation of that experiment and do mu plus or minus twice the standard deviation. Thank you.